Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. I wanted to set the record straight on something. I made a video a year ago called 5-HTP and me and how it saved my life. Now, on this particular video, I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments regarding dopamine. Your dopamine levels when taking 5-HTP. So, at the time of making that video, my serotonin was very low very very low so I wanted to get my serotonin levels up with 5-HTP now to be quick and to the point you should start off with talking to your doctor <laughs> request serotonin dopamine norepinephrine and epinephrine blood levels tests are kind of pricey pricey you know, hopefully you have good medical insurance if not just do it the one time find out what you're low in because you can be depressed and that, and have anxiety with either lower dopamine low dopamine low serotonin or low both 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 being low so you found out that you're low in serotonin 5 htp is the way to go for you you found out that you're low in, do in dopamine then tyrosine is the way to go for you you also have two alternatives for for each. For dopamine, you could do phenyl phenylalanine, and for serotonin, you could also try L-tryptophan. But um, tyrosine and 5-HTP are both the steps after those, so it's kind of like a shortcut to getting to the point. Now, you found out you you're low in serotonin. Go with 5-HTP like me. That's when I made that video. That's when I learned quite a bit about it. I made the video, told everyone what I was taking and how I was taking it. I got my serotonin levels up, and I was feeling great. Then I started feeling a little bit lousy, like it wasn't working as good as it was. Then my doctor told me about tyrosine and how I had to maintain an even keel. Now, when I say even keel... You can do a 5 to 1 ratio or a 10 to 1 ratio depending on how your body reacts. It's smart to start off with a 5 to 1 ratio. <clears throat> so if you're taking 100 milligrams of 5-HTP, you're going to take 500 milligrams of tyrosine per day. And the recommend, re recommended daily dose or well, maximum daily dose of 5-HTP is 300 milligrams. So, at one point, that's what I was taking, 300 milligrams of 5-HTP, along with 1,500 milligrams of tyrosine. And I, eventually, over time, I started not to need as much per day, and I started feeling better without them. And once in a while now, I'll take my supplements. But the main reason for this video was to get this ratio out there, because if you take one without the other and you already have an, a good mind state you're not suffering with anxiety you're not suffering with depression if you take tyrosine it's going to conk out on you if you take 5-HTP it's going to conk out on you it's just going to stop working you know some people will take 5-HTP for weight loss you know some people will take 5-HTP to help them sleep you know it has a lot of different benefits other than just depression you know same thing with tyrosine it's not just to get stuff done you know um, a lot of people take tyrosine and says say it's like a super pill you know lots of energy they're able to multitask they're doing so many things at once and getting so much done and you know mo their motivation is so high and then they wake up the next day and then boom they're right back to square one. It's because you're going up and down. You're going up, 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 up. And the only way to come from up, up, up is down, 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 down. And you just crash. Your body gets used to it because you're not keeping that even keel. You're not keeping <clears throat> that good ratio. And everybody wants to be about 70, 30, 60, 40 in regards to the serotonin dopamine balance. Now, I'm not sure if I said it yet, but with tyrosine, with 5-HTP, you want vitamin B6. A lot of these, um, 
these supplements are going to come with vitamin B6, but you can find some without it. And you need vitamin B6 in your, in your diet. You need to supplement with it, especially if you're looking to supplement with tyrosine or 5-HTP because vitamin B6 is the number one thing you need in order to create dopamine from tyrosine and serotonin from 5-HTP. So that's really the video for today, guys. If you want to try out that 10 to 1 ratio, I would suggest a 5 to 1 first. Obviously, 10 to 1 would be 1,000 milligrams tyrosine and 100 milligrams serotonin. But I would go for 5 to 1 first to work best for me. It's always better to start small than go big, especially when it comes to your mental health, if that's what the reason why you're watching this video. So, hopefully everyone's doing well. I'm glad I set the record straight on this one. That's really all I know and all I can find information on about tyrosine and 5-HTP. So there it is. Keep your heads up, keep fighting, and keep surviving. I'll see you in the next one. Be well.